Well, hello, Taurus. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. If you are new, hello, I am Yasmin. If you have not already, please like and subscribe. All right, Taurus, we're going to go ahead and start with our tea leaf oracles. I'm sorry. I always laugh because I'm so obsessed with these tea leaves, okay? I promise I'm going to have another oracle deck, okay? I have a whole bunch of them in front of me, but I just love these little cards. So we're going to go to go ahead and see what's going to come out here for you. This is going to be for Taurus. Let's see. So many of them in here, you know? All right. So you had, oh, it looks like it was two. I thought it was two that came out. Let's see. This is for Taurus. Taurus. Thank you. All right. I'm going to take it. Taurus, you have dealing or a relationship with a, a woman with a dark complexion or dark hair. I don't think that this has anything to do with dark. I don't think this has anything to do with complexion. I feel like this has something to do with someone's intent towards you. Um, someone's, um, their, their personality, who they are, okay, and how they feel about you. And I'm not going to say that it's malicious, but I do feel like there could be some jealousy um, even the way she kind of squint her eyes, like, you know, when somebody is jealous of you, is like, I can't stand, right? I am kind of seeing that that could be something you will deal with if you have not been dealing with that. Now, I want to go ahead and see what's going to pop out here for you. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, rat. I hate when these type of cards come out in a reading because it's like, it makes the person paranoid, whoever watches it. It's like, well, who who the hell is that? It's just letting you know just to... Be aware of it. That's all. Just be aware of it. Okay. But you guys most likely already know who this person is. And this could be a completely different person. I mean, this could be someone that you're dealing with in relationship. This could also be someone at your job. Okay. Wow. Look at that. A period of prosperity and abundance. I mean, you got some bread. A lot of you are going to be making bread. This can come through an inheritance. This can come through a partnership but or a new job something like that okay something could happen by september or you're dealing with a virgo or a libra or you could have a virgo or a libra in your chart but i feel like there's going to be some type of occurrence happening in september it could be some type of financial gain that you're going to get here okay and wish is granted you know what you see how this is so interesting because it doesn't matter how many haters you have. It doesn't matter how many people are side eyeing you. They're not stopping your growth. They're not stopping you. You are on the right path. You are headed in the right direction. So all of this energy here with the rat and someone, you know, side eyeing you and hating on you, they ain't really doing nothing. They, they ain't going to be able to do nothing. Okay. They're probably all in their feelings because they know they can't do anything, right? All right, Taurus, let's keep going. Let's see. This is for Taurus. What's coming out here for Taurus? At the bottom of the deck, we have take control of your mental. Sorry. Take control over of your mental and physical power. Handle your addictions and patterns. Free yourself. Set yourself free. Some of you guys could have addictions. This could be to alcohol, some type of drug, smoking, something like that. Or it could be just, you know, what you do. I mean, this could be online too. Um, but whatever it is, it's like you need to be able to put that energy into things where you can manifest. You see how manifestation is up there. So I do feel like for some of you, you are, you're losing control of something. And this is not everybody. But when this card comes out, there is addictions. There's addiction. Sex addiction. Porn addiction, yeah, it doesn't have to be drugs and alcohol. Okay, you could be addicted to someone. Codependency is also in this reading. All right, one of the cards, the, the, the card that actually came out here was, you will notice improvement in your life and have more luck if you keep trying new things. Listen to your intuition, basically. So notice improvement. Now, we just talked about what you need to do, right? We just talked about that you need to get rid of habits, certain type of patterns and habits that are habitual. 
And I do see here, even looking at this says improvement. I feel like there is going to be improvement in all areas in your life. I really do. I feel like it's because you're aware of something now. And it's good because we all can, you know, I feel like maybe there's some type of wise counsel that you're getting. Maybe you're getting counseling or maybe it's just a, a energetic shift. All right. We're going to go ahead and get into your tarot. We're going to, oh, you know what? Before we do that. Let's see what house, let's see what house is the main energy for you, Taurus. Let's see. This is for Taurus. I almost forgot. I wanted to use this one as well. I'm obsessed with this deck. All right. Opposition aspect. So you got some opposition here. We're going to talk about it. And then you have the planet Jupiter. Okay. So this is Sagittarius energy. It's very much so spirituality. We're going to read it. I'm not going to read both, but this is the one that came out. Jupiter talks about expansion and abundance. We just saw a period of abundance and prosperity. So, I mean, you are expanding. You are definitely expanding here. Okay. Um, and it's not just with your money. I feel like it's in wisdom and knowledge as well. Okay. But fortune, fortune is here. I love it. And again, some of you got this could happen. This could happen at the end of the year for some of you. This could happen. I mean, it says September. September. And I think Jupiter will be the ninth planet because it's, it's a Sagittarius energy. So I think that's the ninth house. Again, nine. So something about nine here that I'm seeing. Sagittarius, like I said before, but this is a, an expansion energy. So I feel like this is going to happen. And, the last quarter of the year. I think I just said that for Virgo as well. Now there's some opposition and we already saw that with a dark woman. So it says this is the relationship between several planets that are not necessarily getting along with each other. Okay. Talk about resistance, conflict, separation, and challenge. That is what you guys are going to be facing. This could be in relationships. This could be with your money, family, or whatever, right? We already talked about that. We talked about the rat. We talked about the dark woman. This is what's here. There's, a, there's some type of opposition. Now, we're going to get into the reading. We're going to find out what that means for you uh, with the tarot. But we're going to keep this here, okay? Because we're going to take a look at that a little bit later. All right. Let's get into it. This is for Taurus. Let's see what comes out here for Taurus. These cards are so slippery. I'm so hoping. There you go. I'm so hoping that it'll come out easy. There we go. King of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Now you have the World card. There it is again with that World card. Remember, it came out before. And then you have the seven of swords. There's that conflict. There's some deception here too. Oh my goodness. There's a lot that I can say. There's a lot that I can say. Um, hold on. Let me adjust this. Give me one second. Okay. So we talked about the world before. And I mean, I see a lot with that world card. I mean, let's, I, let's take a look at it. Okay. It wasn't that hard for me to pick it up. Well, first of all, I see a lot of traveling here. I see first class traveling. We already talked about the abundance energy. We talked about the prosperity. You will be able to bask in some type of luxury. Traveling. And you're alone in this picture, but I feel like you could be traveling to see a lover, a sweetheart. Um, a lot of wine and dining. I, I'm seeing it here. I really do. And you are on a quest to, you know, fulfill every area of your life. And even though there's opposition, like I said, nothing is going to keep you from getting it. Like I said, you're on the right path. Yes, there's some conflict. There's some opposition. But I, I feel like you're still going to close out this chapter. Of course, that's what the world talks about. Okay. I feel like for some of you, you're going to be dealing with someone who may have some irrational behavior. And it's a part of that rat energy. It's a part of that dark woman energy. Someone who's going to try to hurt you in some type of way or make you very upset. Someone who I feel is close to you. 
Um, and I don't know. I feel like it has something to do with the fact that you're shining. I don't, I don't have no other way to put it. I got to be honest with you, Taurus. That's what I'm saying. You know, I hate to be honest in readings. <laughs> okay. I know I have to, but I know there's people who don't, you know, um, I, I'm not a fluffy, fluffy reader. Never have and never will be. I have to tell you exactly what I'm saying here. And because you guys are shining and, you know, there's this luxury and this pampered energy, you guys are going to attract some haters. Okay. I'm telling you that right now. Um, I feel like you're feeling pressure um, because there are some things that are just, it's almost like insurmountable issues. Like you got your family issues. You're trying to help them out. You got your work, you got your love. And these issues are just because all of it at once, right? You're trying to balance everything. That's what I'm saying. Okay. And it's nothing major per se. I just feel like it's just happening all at once, but there's going to be a time where you're going to be able to relax you know, you know, wine, wine and dining and, you know, wine down is, I guess that's a word. Okay. Where you could just relax and just enjoy yourself here. But I'm telling you right now, this opposition is coming from that world card because you guys are on the move and you guys are very successful. The world card talks about success. There's just no other way to put it. Okay. And I also feel like there's some things dealing with, uh, again, I talked about the travel. There could be some travel delays, some issues where you guys go to the airport, you guys are going to experience some type of travel delays or problems with trying to travel is something that I'm saying here. Okay. Now the next card that you guys have is the seven, sorry, is the seven of swords. And the seven of swords in this, in this particular situation is, you know, again, this is like being seen. There's a lot of people who are taking aim towards you. They're like, oh, I want a piece of that. I want a piece of Taurus. But not everyone has good intentions, so that's just something to look out for. I see a lot of <clears throat> a lot of what you're doing is correcting problems that you are coming that you have already experienced. So let's say you're already correcting money issues, you're correcting family issues, relationship issues, um, and that's what I'm saying. And I feel like you are going through a period of introspection. Um, there's somebody who wants to see you though. <laughs> that I feel like could be at a distance or you want to see someone who's at a distance. And again, I still see some type of trouble traveling with the seven of swords. I mean, it, it's literally, I didn't even think about it when I was saying it with this one, but I totally see it with the seven of swords where there is some type of travel problems. Okay. But somebody wants to see you face to face or you want to see somebody face to face, honey, somebody wants to give somebody a kiss on the lips, honey. Okay. They want to be all up in your face, all up in your business. And I feel like it's going to be suddenly too, where somebody is going to appear in your life. Okay. Um, and maybe you're going to oppose them or maybe someone is opposing you. It just depends, right? Like they're resisting. But I definitely see that in a love relationship, this is, you know, someone is like really wanting to see you um, and wanting to talk here. Now at the bottom of the deck, you did have the... King of Swords. King of Swords to me is again a very logical card. It talks about trying to get ahead. This is also trying to, if there's any type of behavior issues, it's modification. Because I mean, let's be honest, I mean, this is about clarity and discernment. Like a lot of things that you guys have been doing may not have been rational before. And so here at the King of Swords, I don't know if I said King of Pentacles, King of Swords talks about, um, doing things more logical, logical and level headed. Okay. You can't dwell on the past either with people, things that you've done, things that other people have done. You can only make level headed decisions to move forward and close out a cycle here. All right. So either way, I do see that there's going to be an amazing time for you, but I also see that there's going to be some things that you're going to have to, um, I don't know. I feel like there there could be some things that you're going to have to straighten out. I don't know why I'm also seeing law, someone dealing with law enforcement. I don't know. Maybe you are a cop or you're dealing with someone who's a cop. OK, um, you could also to some degree deal with someone who's a little wishy washy. <laughs> so if that happens, if you come across somebody where one minute they're OK, the next minute they're not. That's just what it is. And it's a ghosting energy, yes. But I mean, I feel like someone is being accused of that. Either you're being accused of being wishy-washy or 
you're you're accusing someone of that, okay? But overall, I see a very victorious energy in you being more balanced in the future. And this is what I have for you here, Taurus.